I felt the sadness of her tragedy during the war and I then started to feel discomfort at the idea that it was being sold and that evolved into outrage that someone was trafficking in my family's history. We found a photo of his mother on the Rago auction website. I think the fact that Rago um, put these artifacts to be auctioned off, it was such um, an act of insensitivity of, of cultural artifacts that belong in museums, not in private homes. She was from Seattle. She was born there to a Japanese immigrant. He was taken away by the FBI at the beginning of World War II uh, because he was a business leader. The family was scattered. They could not stay in Seattle. Some were put into WRA camps. The best thing would be if they were properly interpreted, if they were donated to a museum that could properly interpret them and exhibit them to the public in their historical context. They should be treated with the respect of um, Native American spiritual items or uh, artifacts uh, having to do with slavery or the Holocaust. I mean, these are things that come out of a very dark situation and don't belong on an auction block up for the highest bidder. Well, I hope that the pieces, uh, the Japanese American artifacts would be withdrawn from the auction and uh, donated. The handful of Japanese American museums in the country